Shalom, welcome to Rob on the Rock. I'm Rob Vanhoff, and today is the third video on the Lord's Prayer, dealing with verse 13 of Matthew 6, where it says, and do not lead us into temptation, or in some translations, lead us not into temptation. Is the Pope right? Do we need to change this passage? Let's take a look. So the four Psalms we're going to be looking at here today uh, reflect the same poetic uh, prayer language that we hear, that we're instructed by Yeshua in what we call the Lord's Prayer. Lead us not into temptation or lead us not into trial. That's the phrase the Pope apparently is unhappy with um, because the idea is, well, how, what does that say about God? And, and they want to change it and get it in a tizzy fit. But what I want to show are just four examples. We could find others from the Psalms that reflect this kind of language. For example, Psalm 27, 12. Do not deliver me over to the desire of my adversaries. For false witnesses have risen against me and such as breathe out violence. So the, the phraseology, do not deliver me over to the desire of my adversaries. It's the same kind of language. Psalm 74, 19. Do not, the del do not deliver the soul of your turtle dove to the wild beast. Do not forget the life of your afflicted forever. So the question is, well, why do we need to why do we need to pray this way? If it, is God going to just take my soul to the wild beast? Is he going to just forget his afflicted servant forever? No, that's not how we're supposed to understand this. Uh, 119 verse 10, With all my heart I have sought you. Do not let me wander from your commandments. And even this English translation is softening it a little bit. It's really do not uh, cause me to wander do not cause me to wander from your commandments. And the last we have here is 114, or sorry, 141.4. Do not incline my heart to any evil thing to practice deeds of wickedness with men who do iniquity. Do not let me eat of their delicacies. Now, one difference, of course, in these four psalm passages we've seen is that the object is first person singular, me. Do not incline my heart. Do not cause me to wander. Do not let me eat. Do not cause me to eat. It's me but in the uh, first person singular. Whereas in the Lord's Prayer, it's we, anachnu, right? It's, it's uh, lead us, right? Lead us not into temptation. The core point here is that in prayer, our conversation with the Lord is shaped and we grow in our understanding of who we are in his eyes. And a humble prayer means we are leaning on, not, not on our own understanding, but on the Lord's. We are seeking him first and foremost. We are not overly confident in our own strength. No, rather in humble adoration and in full knowledge of our depravity away from him, apart from him, we are asking him uh, not to lead us not into trial, into temptation, but rather deliver us from evil, for he sees all things, and he is our, the one who blesses us and protects us and keeps us. So, let the poetry of the words of scripture and the poetry of prayer be what it is and let our hearts be transformed and renewed in our life of prayer and worship and walking with the Lord to not feel like we need to change the word of God, but that we are changed by it and we grow in more and more uh, discerning and even subtle appreciations of the beauty of his majesty and his power and his might and his sovereignty and our humility and frailty before him. We do not seek to run out into trial and temptation. That's foolish. Rather, it is wise 
to always say, Lord, deliver us from evil. Because he knows where evil is, where we don't often. So this ends the three short videos that I wanted to do on the Lord's Prayer. I have added a fourth that I will uh, post in the days to come that look, uh, according to someone's question, into various Hebrew translations of the Lord's Prayer. It'll be a little more involved for those who like Hebrew and Aramaic. It'll be a little bit of a longer video. If any of these videos are a blessing to you and you come back to Row on the Rock and you want to learn more or uh, take away little bits and pieces here and there, uh, please consider uh, supporting my work. You can click uh, on my YouTube page where it says contribute on the PayPal. Thank you so much. Shalom.